Hey chosen one, welcome to my series. This series is for you. So what is it chosen one? What is it to be conscious? How does one know that they're chosen? Well, to begin with in your journey, you know that you're different. You think differently from other people, especially in your younger days of life, like right? Most often than not, the chosen one starts off in religion. Religion is deeply rooted in you because really you're starting off from maybe a last life cycle where you didn't acknowledge the fact that you're the chosen one. Because our subconscious mind is like our record room and it keeps like record of our previous lifetimes, like right? So you being chosen and unaware right now, there are others, your reflections, that'll give you hints of it. They'll think that you're special. They'll tell you that you're different and that you're going to be something great in the future. Even in church, maybe the pastor or the apostle will prophesy on you and say that you're going to be a pastor or a healer or whatever because they see a light. Higher frequency and both lower frequency beings see your light, chosen ones, way before you see it. And so you might have these dreams as if you spoke or when you grow up, you will speak in front of the masses you have these leadership type dreams like right you have uh end of the world type dreams you can see through people bullcrap like right you call it what it is now when you're younger as a chosen one they might call you like the black sheep of the family you might be kind of like outsourced with jobs and career or with being able to get along with people who's kind of uh chaotic not that you cause the problem, but because you don't have the tolerance for it, so to speak, since you can see through them. You're you're naturally, as a chosen one, a seer, a seer of energy, but you might not understand it. And so when you don't want to be around the people who, or at their lower selves, people would think maybe it's you, that you're acting funny, so to speak. When you don't make sense of maybe holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, when you get tired of the repetition of life <laughs> and see it for what it really is, other people will think that, you know, you be in a certain kind of way because they're still in a great sleep and slumber. It's just that you have eyes and you're really able to see. Hence, the chosen one. So the beginning stages of a life for a chosen one is just that they see life different. They don't want to be moving to the rhythm of other people beat. They want to do their own thing, but maybe they are still in their mother's home or maybe they're governed underneath the laws on the job, or they're still in the United States of America where everybody subscribed to, you got to do this on this holiday and this on that. The chosen one really not really for that. And they will full, they will soon understand that they would immediately understand that at a young age. <laughs> That's what makes them different. And a lot of people are drawn to this, even though this is a difference, is unique, is bold of the chosen one to be different in a world that just follows what Massa say do, right? So a lot of people are drawn and admire it, but they're not bold enough to come on over to that side where the chosen one is experiencing their own thought, expressing their own mindfulness, doing their own thing. They're not bold just yet, but you are. Now that's just it. You bold in how you feel, chosen one, but you don't want to be chosen. Hence, they say many are called, few are chosen. You're bold in how you feel. You know what you feeling is real. You know you're different. You know you're separate, but you don't want to speak to no masses. You ain't running to be seen and heard. Many are called. You are chosen. Your gift found you. That's what make you different. That's what make you chosen. You was just being. And then up, you expanded to a level of consciousness where all of them gifts were assigned to you. Hence, you're chosen. That's how you become the chosen one. Let's talk about that in the next video to separate the wheat from the tears. Part two.